Hey everyone! Today I'm going to go over the different types of transport in plants, and scientists have mainly divided transport into two types, long distance and short distance. So short distance transport is pretty easy to understand. It occurs through osmosis. Osmosis is the diffusion of water, usually across a membrane. This is powered by something called water potential, which determines the direction of where the water will flow. Water potential is represented by the Greek symbol psi, and water always flows from the area of higher water potential to the area of lower water potential. Solute concentration and pressure can influence water potential. Pure water has a water potential of zero. So let's say that one cell has a water potential of negative two bars, and the cell next to it has a water potential of negative three bars. That means the cell with negative three bars has either a higher solute concentration, lower pressure, or both. We know that water goes from higher to lower water potential, so water will diffuse from the left cell to the right. Long distance transport has many mechanisms. First, there's bulk flow, which describes the movement of liquid according to pressure. This has nothing to do with solute concentration. Of course, the pressure will be greater at the roots of the plant than the top of the plant, because water travels from high to low pressure, so the water in the soil will be able to travel up the plant through vascular tissues. The xylem and phloem are two of the vascular tissues in the plant. Xylem tissue transports water upward, and the phloem transports sugars from photosynthesis mainly downward. Another mechanism that carries liquids long distances in plants is called transpiration, and I have a whole separate video on that. You can find the link in my description. There's also a mechanism called root pressure, which is when the root cells have a very high solute concentration. This causes the water potential in the root cells to lower a lot, resulting in a flow of water. This can push the sap in the xylem up a few meters. Guttation is when you see small water droplets in the morning on the leaves of some plants, and this is caused by root pressure. So those are the ways plants can transport water throughout their systems. Don't forget to check out my transpiration video if you haven't yet, and thanks for watching.